sugar decolorization using ion exchange resin in the refining process. Sugar can be decolorized and purified using ion exchange resin. We, Seprotec, develops the separation resin, DS500, which can be effectively used in the decolorization process of cane sugar. Sepro registered DS500, ion exchange resin for sugar decolorization. In this article, we will show you our new ion exchange resin for decolorizing sugar and compare ion exchange resin with activated carbon bleaching. Why bleach sugar? Bleached white sugar meets the needs of restaurants and many food processing industries. Process and steps for sugar decolorization. Juice extraction. The sugar cane is pressed through a juice extraction device to obtain sugar cane juice. Pre-treatment. The sugar cane juice is pre-treated by a filtering device to remove large herba gas. Microfiltration Membrane Filtration The pre-treated sugar cane juice is filtered through a microfiltration membrane to obtain a sucrose juice clear solution. Pre-concentration The sucrose juice supernatant is sent to a pre-concentration device for preliminary pre-concentration. Ion Exchange Decolorization Ion exchange decolorization of the pre-concentrated sucrose juice with an ion exchange resin. Concentration The sucrose juice obtained in step F is sent to an evaporator for concentration, and the sugar liquid is concentrated to a hammer of 6575 to obtain a sucrose concentrate. Crystallization When the sugar liquid is concentrated to excessive saturation, seeding, slowly cooling and crystallization, Centrifugation, centrifugation of sucrose crystals by a centrifuge. Drying, the blast is dried to obtain a finished product. Refined sugar decolorization process, ion exchange resin versus activated carbon bleaching. The use of ion exchange resin for sugar decolorization process is cost effective. At the same time, it can meet the color value requirements of different feed sugar liquids and it is more flexible and efficient. It is the process technology for the decolorization of the sugar industry. Sugar Decolorization Process The ion exchange resin and granular activated carbon are mostly similar in process, but the resin system design is more flexible. Even more, it can be adjusted and changed according to the pigment condition of the feed and the target to be decolored thereby obtaining a more optimized design. Sugar Bleaching Process of Ion Exchange Resin Countercurrent regeneration enables low leakage, good quality discharge. The density of the decolorizing resin is generally between 1.05 and 1.08 grams CM3, which can be suspended in the syrup. In order to solve this problem, the countercurrent operation is used in the decolorization process and the regeneration is carried out in the downstream. Due to the ever-changing pigmentation in the feed syrup, this has determined that the system is designed with a single bed system and a bed system. The main disadvantage of the ion exchange sugar decolorization process is that the regeneration of the resin will produce wastewater, spent acid and alkali. Activated Sugar Sugar Decolorization Process Activated sugar bleaching systems basically have three ways, fixed bed, pulsating bed, and moving bed. The main applications are single fixed bed and pulsating bed. Granular activated carbon and ion exchange resins have many similarities, such as operating procedures, the sugar sugar backwashing is the same, and it is also possible to design a series or parallel operation. However, there are obvious differences in other aspects. For example, the operating flow rate of activated carbon is very low, only 0.30.5 BV slash H. The syrup has a long residence time in the decolorization system. In addition, the regeneration of activated carbon requires a special activation furnace in the production device. Or chemical regeneration. Conclusion we recommend that you use ion exchange resins, Sepro DS500 to decolorize and purify sucrose, saving you money and increasing sugar extraction efficiency.
If you have questions about our resins, you are welcome to consult us.